the sum of the first n terms of arithmetic sequence. So, how to get the formula of the sum of the first n terms of arithmetic sequence? First, the terms of an arithmetic sequence can be added to form an arithmetic series. Let Sn, which is the sum of the first n terms, equal to a plus a plus d plus a plus 2d plus so on plus a plus n minus 1 times d be the first equations. You must know that a here is, is the first terms. a plus d is the second terms. a plus 2d is the third terms. And plus the following terms plus the last terms. Okay, you can write the first equations in reverse order. So we have Sn equal to a plus n minus 1 times d is the last term just now, plus the following terms, plus a plus 2d, which is the third term just now, plus a plus d plus a. The second terms and the first terms be the second equations. Thus, equation 1 plus equations 2 will be 2sn equal to 2a plus n minus 1d plus so on plus 2a plus n minus 1 times d. There are n identical terms on the right side of these equations. So we have 2sn equal to n in the square bracket here times 2a plus n minus 1 times d. Therefore, we can have the formula for the sum of the first n terms of arithmetic sequence, which is Sn equal to n divided by 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 times d. The sum of the first n terms of arithmetic sequence by using the last terms. We know that the last term is Tn equal to L equal to A plus N minus 1 times D. Before this, we already formed the formula for the sum of the first n terms of arithmetic sequence, which is Sn equal to N over 2 times 2A plus N minus 1 times D. For this part, 2A you can split to be A plus A. Then, you can substitute a plus n minus 1 times d with L. So it will be Sn equal to n over 2 times A plus L. Now let's look at the relationship between Tn, which is the n terms, and Sn, which is the sum of the first n terms. So it will be Tn equal to Sn minus Sn minus 1. For example, if you want to find the six terms, you can take the sum of the first six terms minus the sum of the first five terms. Example 4. Find the sum of all integers between 100 and 200. There are multiplies of 6. So you need to find the sum, which is Sn, of a sequence that meets the characteristic between 100 and 200 and must be multiplies of 6. So first you need to write a sequence, which is a good start from 100 to, for the first terms, second terms, 108, the third terms, 114 and so on until the last terms is 198 based on this sequence you can take out the information which is the first terms a equal to 102 then the common difference d equal to 6 since it's multiplies of 6 and the last terms is 198 before you can find the sum of this sequence, you need to find the number of terms in this sequence. So, to find the number of terms in this sequence, you need to apply this formula, which is Tn equal to A plus N minus 1 times D. 
you can substitute the informations you have gathered before in this formula to find the value of n. Okay, we can substitute the n with 198 equal to a 102 plus n minus 1 times 6. So I will bring 102 to the left hand side and I will expand n minus 1 times 6. So we will get 198 minus 102 equal to 6n minus 6. So you should have 6n minus 6 equal to 96. 6n equal to 102 and n equal to 17. Therefore, the number of terms in this sequence is 17. Next, you can use all the informations before also this answer and equal to 17 to find Sn by using this formula, which is Sn equal to n over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 times d. So we can find S17 equal to 17 over 2 times 2a which is 102 plus n minus 1 which is 17 minus 1 times the common difference which is 6. So you get sums of all the 17 terms should be 2550. Also you can apply the formula for the sums of the first n terms by using the last term which is Sn equal to n over 2 times A plus L. So we have S17 equal to 17 over 2 times 102 plus the last term just now is 198. So you should get 2500 50. So you can choose either these two solutions to find the sums of all integers of these questions. Example 5. The tenth terms of an aromatic sequence is negative 25 and the sum of the first ten terms is 65. Find the first terms, the common difference, and the sum of the first 20th terms. So based on this question, you are given two informations. The first information is 10 terms is negative 25. So we have T10 equal to negative 25. And the second information is the sum of the first 10 terms is 65. So we have S10 equal to 65. And the question asks you to find the first terms, A, the common difference, D, and the sum of the first 20th term, which is S20. Before you can find S20, you need to find the value of A and D. So you need at least two equations. So here is the two equations. But first, we need to write T10 equal to negative 25 in the form of A plus N minus 1 times T equal to Tn. So we have A plus N minus 1, which is 10 minus 1 times T equal to negative 25. So simplify, we have A plus 90 equal to negative 25 as the first equations. Next, for S10 equal to 65, you need to write in the form of n over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 times t equal to Sn. So we have 10 over 2 in the square brackets. 2a plus n minus 1, which is 10 
minus 1. So we have 9th D close to a square bracket equal to 65. You can simplify these equations. You will get after you divide tens by 2, you get 5 in the brackets 2a plus 9d equal to 65. We can take 65 divided by 5, so you have 2a plus 9d equal to 13, be the second equations. Now, I will try to find the value of a by eliminates d. So how to eliminate d is we going to take equations 2 minus equations 1. So equations 2 minus equation 1, we have 2a minus a, which is you get a, 90 minus 9d equal to 0. So next equal to 13 minus negative 25, we get 38. So I can take the value of a here, which is equal to 38, to be substituted into equations 1 or equations 2 to get the value of d. So I'll choose to substitute into equations 1. So we have a, which is 38, plus 9d equal to negative 25. So 9d equal to negative 25 minus 38 which is you get negative 63 then d equal to negative 7 so we have the value of a which is 38 and d equal to negative 7 then you can use the value of a and d here to find s 20. Now, we will try to find the sum of the first 20th terms, which is S20. So, we will use the formula of the sum of the first n terms, which is, we have n over 2. So, for this case, 20 over 2, the square brackets, 2a, 2 times 38, plus n minus 1. So, 20 minus 1, we have 19 times d, which is negative 7. Okay, so you should get as 20 equal to negative 570. Example 6. The sum of the first 15 terms of aromatic sequence is 255, and the sum of the next 15 terms is 705. Find the first terms, the common difference, and 50th terms. So you are given two informations based on these questions. The first one is the sum of the first 15 terms is 255. So we have S50 equal to 255. And the second information is the sum of the next 15 terms is 705. That means we have the added value of T sixteens until T thirty equal to seven hundred five, which is you can write as as thirty minus as fifteen. So I will write as thirty minus as fifteen equal to seven hundred five. And the question asks you to find the first term, which is A, the common difference which is D, and the 50th terms, T50. In order to find T50, you need to find the value of A and D first. So, how to find A and D, which is you need to have at least two equations, which is here we have S15 equal to 255 and S30 minus S15 equal to 705 but you need to write s15 and s30 in the form of sn equal to n over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 times d so now for s15 we're going to have 15 over 2 times 2a 
plus n minus 1 which is 15 minus 1 is 14 d equal to 255 now i will simplify these equations to be 2a plus 14 d equal to 255 times 2 divided by 15 so you should get 34 so let it be the first equations for the second equations here as 30 minus s15 equal to 705 i will rearrange these equations to let s30 be the subject so we have s30 equal to 705 plus s15 we already have the value of s15 which is 255 so just substitute in this equation so we have s30 equal to 705 plus 255 equal to 960 so s30 equal to 960 and we write in this form which is we have n over 2 30 over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 which is 30 minus 1 is 29 times d equal to 960 now let's simplify these equations so we have 2a plus 29d equal to i will simplify this first which is 30 divided by 2 is 15 and i will take 90 960 sorry 960 divided by 15 just now so we get 64 that will be the second equations okay now we will try to find the value of d and also by eliminating a so i will take equations 2 minus equations 1 so equations 2 minus equation 1 now we, we see here 2a minus 2a you get 0 next 29d minus 14d we get 15d and for 64 minus 34 we get 30 so 15d equal to 30 so d equal to 2 now we will take the value of d here which is d equal to 2 to be substituted into equations 1 or equations 2 to find the value of a so i will choose to substitute into equations 1 so we should get 2a plus 14 times 2 equal to 34 so we have 2a equal to 6 a equal to 3 therefore the first terms which is a equal to 3 and the common difference d equal to 2 we will use these answers to find t50 which is in order to find t50 we need to apply this formula which is tn equal to a plus n minus 1 times d now we have t50 equal to a which is 3 plus n minus 1 is 49 times t is 2 so you should get t50 equal to 101 example 7 the sum of the first k terms of an aromatic series is 777 the first term is negative 3 and the k terms is 77 obtain the value of k and the 11th terms of the series based on this question you are given three informations which is the first one is the sum of the first k terms is 777 so we have s k equal to 777 the second information is first terms is negative 3 which is we know that a equal to negative 3 and the last information is k terms is 77 so we have t k equal to 77 and the question asks you to find the value of k and the 11th terms of the series, which is t 11th. To find t 11th, you need to have the value of d. But in order to find the value of d, you need to find the value of k first. 
So now we are going to find the value of k and d. But in order to find the value of k and d, you need to have at least two equation, which is here we have sk equal to 777 and tk equal to 77. For sk here, you need to write in the form of sn equal to n over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 times d, which is we will let n equal to k. So, for sk here, we have n over 2, which is k over 2, times 2a, you can substitute a equal to negative 3, plus n minus 1 will be k minus 1 times d equal to 777. Now, I will multiply these equations by 2. So, k over 2 times 2 will be k times... 2 times negative 3 will be negative 6 plus in the bracket k minus 1 times d equal to 777 times 2 is 1554 as the first equations. Next, for tk here, you need to write in the form of tn equal to a plus n minus 1 times d. For n here, we will let n equal to k. So, we're going to have tk here, which is a negative 3 plus n minus 1 will be k minus 1 times d equal to 77. Now, I will bring negative 3 here to the right-hand side. So, we're going to get k minus 1 times d equal to 77 plus 3 is 80 be the second equations next i will substitute equations 2 into equations 1 so substitute equations 2 into equations 1 we will get k times negative 6 plus for k minus 1 times d, we will substitute with a t. So we have plus a t times, sorry, equal to 1554. Now, negative 6 plus a t is 74. So we have 74 k equal to 1554. Therefore, k equal to 21. Now, we already get the value of k, which is k equal to 21. And I will use this value to find the value of d by substitute into equations 1 or equations 2. But I will choose to substitute into equations 2. So, we have here k minus 1, which is we're going to have 21 minus 1. 21 minus 1 times d equal to 80 so we have 20 d equal to 80 so d equal to 4 so now let's try to find t 11 so t 11 equal to you need to apply this formula which is a here equal to negative 3 we have negative 3 plus n minus 1 which is 11 minus 1 is 10 times d so we already get the value of d which is 4 so now t11 is equal to 37